Hi, and welcome to today's tutorial with Design Memory Craft Faber Cassell using Pitt Pastel pencils. Today we will be creating this card, and we will be using the following products the blue green Pitt Pastel pencil set, the mixed media sampler set in red, Penny Black's Petal Party clear set, and Penny Black's Cling Stamp mosaic. Place the cling stamp on an acrylic block and then ink it with Memento London Fog ink. By having the stamp facing you, you can see if you've inked the whole of the area of the stamp. Press firmly onto your paper Once you have done this, you can begin colouring. I'm taking the Pitt Pastel pencils 156 and 155. Firstly, I'm going to start with the late lighter shade of 156. I'm going to be colouring in this flower and I'm going to be colouring in alternate lines on the petal with a brushing motion towards the outer edge of the petal not going all the way. I'm pressing fairly firmly at the center and feathering out more lightly as I go to the edge of the petal. You can see here the completed flower. I'm then going to blend with my finger the pastel chalk out towards the edge of the flower. This will create a gradiated effect your finger will get rather messy, so do remember to clean it off in between each colour. If you feel that you've rubbed off too much colour whilst doing this, just add a little bit more. I'm then taking my pencil rubber and I'm just going round the edges. This will clean up any stray pastel chalk that has gone beyond the flower. I'd recommend that when you're trying to work with pastel pencils that you try it first on a scrap piece of card as different types of card will affect the end result. The card that I'm using here has a slight tooth to it so it holds the chalk well. Next I'm going to go in with a darker shade 155 and colour in the other petal stripes again from the centre using a firm flicking motion out towards the edge of the petal. Here you can see a closer look at how I'm achieving this. I'm then going to rub and blend the colour in again out towards the edge of the petal. I'm not worrying if I go over the edge because I'll be able to rub that off afterwards. For the next flower I'm going to use 143 pastel pencil. I'm going to show you a different way of colouring and blending with the pastels. I'm going to very roughly colour the petals and I'm not going to be too fussy or worry if I've coloured the whole of the area. Leaving white will actually help to add highlights to the image. Again I'm working with outward strokes from the centre to the edge of the petal. Once I have coloured all the petals, I'm then going to use the white 101 pencil from the neutral set to blend the darker colour in and tone it down. You can see as I colour over the top with this lighter shade that the darker brush strokes still show through. This gives it added dimension and texture. I then again go around the edge with my rubber and I can also add additional highlights with the rubber to add a little bit more depth to the petals.
This actually gives the petals a very soft, velvety look. I'm now going to use the orange and yellow 104 and 113 pastel pencil and show you how the two colours blend well together. I'm applying a fairly heavy pressure and colouring random little petals on this flower. Firstly with the orange and then I'll go back in and colour in the other petals with the yellow. Again, I'm not being overly fussy if I miss some areas and have some white space. This will all help with the highlighting and the blending of the colours. Once you have coloured all the petals, you can then blend them together using your finger in a circular motion. If any of the pastel goes over the edge of the petals, you can rub it off again with an eraser. Using the same two colours, I'm now going to colour the centre of the petals of the blue flower. Using the same technique as the previous flower, I'm just going to randomly add yellow and orange together, building up the colour until I get the desired effect. I'm now going to colour the leaves using the green colours 168 and 170. I'm going to take the darker shade first, 168, and colour the centre of the leaf, applying fairly heavy pressure, working out towards the edge of the, the leaf. I'm then going to go in with a lighter shade, but not to the very edge. I'll then use my finger to blend this out so that it is slightly darker in the centre of the leaf, again using the rubber to tidy up the edges. I'm then going to use 143 and 151 to colour in this flower here. Again, I'm randomly going to colour the petals with the darker blue. I'm not going to be too worried about getting it exactly right. And then again, I'm going to go in with a lighter shade on the areas that haven't been coloured. You can see it's very roughly coloured at this stage. This time I'm going to use the white pencil to blend both the colours together and get a softer look. Finally, I'm going to use my finger just to get rid of the remaining white space on the petals. And again, use my rubber to actually clean up the area. Don't forget to clean your finger off afterwards. Here is the completed panel with all the flowers coloured as explained in this video. I'm then going to use a pastel fixative so that the pastels don't rub off once they've been attached to the card. I'm now going to use my scoreboard and some Penny Black mix and match cardstock to create a lined border around the edge of the card. You can see the effect here. And I'm going to use foam pads to raise the image onto the card and place centrally. All that remains is to create the sentiment. I've taken the word smiles from the Petal Party set and I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink to stamp my sentiment. I've punched out a little label and have stamped to the left of the label. 
I then cut off one end and mount onto a slightly larger label and then adhere to the card using dimensional foam pads. I'm no expert at working with pastels, but I hope that the way that I've used them will encourage you to have a go. Here is the finished card. And here is the full list of materials that have been used in this project. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks for watching today. For further inspiration, please visit my blog at candronicucardcraft.blogspot.co.uk.